Hello, greetings. Yeah, so now I'm thinking again back to square one. Then, so as I'm thinking, sharing with you, whoever is interested uh, in this, I don't know why you would be if you are interested in what I have to say. So, if uh, isn't it because of love that? Uh, Love, uh, not that when I didn't even know I was Radha Rani in my childhood when I loved the teacher, I realized love is uh, the most important thing. So I, uh, I just don't have the right words to express right now, but anyhow, when I get the right words, I hope you get the gist of it. I will uh, share in detail and properly. So, you see, I don't think it's uh, my ego, uh, because uh, with the grand aunt I know, uh, I spent my time, uh, it just has this uh, thing, it's complete, like, for example, uh, you know, about attachments and all this, I, I was, uh, they had this uh, fear that I I would not be able to leave Miss Dissa, my teacher that I adored. So with my grand aunt, it wasn't like that, but that doesn't mean that I didn't love her. True saint, perhaps she was a true saint or something. My grand aunt, Mamie. Uh, so just to spend time with her, like looking out the window and she telling me, look, now the rickshaw will come and this person always at this time. No gossip or anything, but just watching the road out uh, from my grandparents' place. My grand-aunt was there. It wasn't like we were watching a movie, and it wasn't even boring. I cannot explain how it was. Uh, so I was quite content. And then uh, you can take uh, certain things in life. I guess they just give you that strength. And uh, it just, when you love, when you have this, I don't know, it's something really, I, I, I can't describe uh, this. So anyways, I love failing. I don't know, I never, I was shocked. And discipline, like when I read Jiddu Krishnamurti, it really clicked uh, that, you know, love, once, what is that true love? It doesn't need methods. And again, religion and worship and rituals and all this. Uh, so what is this thing that inside of you, that uh, I thought it was love that brings all this discipline. Like when... Uh, Someone told me to discipline myself. I was like, oh my God, um, I've been trying. So you see, then the attachment, then discipline, then this, then questions come up. Then are we doing this right? Or did we say this right? And it just goes on endlessly like this. So um, and uh, reading someone else's book, Bhagavad Gita, you see, Jiddu Krishnamurti said, I've never read these books. And I think also Sadhguru of Isha Foundation said that he's never read the Gita, the Bhagavad Gita. I'm not sure. I think he was the second person I heard who was after reading Jiddu Krishnamurti and what I have found out about Jiddu Krishnamurti. I think Sadhguru also said this, that you know, at that time, because, or maybe what Jiddu Krishnamurti was saying, that he explained it or something like this, that that was for Arjun at that time. Maybe it stands a test of time. Maybe it works out for you. But, uh, you know, as, uh, as I found out, oh, then I realized, oh, because this uh, principle was... Um, uh, Mrs. M uh, she was Meera by Mrs. Munira Gulza. So I was trying all these, you know, like they were saying, why don't you try the breathing exercises? And 
I had even found a yoga p- professor in Karachi. So it wasn't working. Breathing was like, you know, like, Tandi Sans Lena, or Bukul Alak Badodi. Depression, my manna, so sorry. What I mean to say is, how do you say in English that when you, that breath you take, you know, that uh, feeling of uh, joy, that inner, that true breath uh, that I could take in depression, it's like constrained and I can't breathe properly without Mr. Sa, I can breathe. Like life has left you and you just, but it's painful. It's not like you are dead. It's worse than death. So breathing was not helping me. I read self-help books. Wherever it would come, like breathe. And I did all that, you know, like my stomach is cold and all this, uh, my forehead is warm or something like that. And uh, how to breathe and count and... Uh, um, it, it was just like I was forcing myself, but then they say it gets better. But it, uh, but I was in a restless mood, I couldn't. Uh, and you know, be in the moment while you're making tea and this and that. Until my, uh, my teacher, Mr. Sa, told me that, that uh, many years afterwards, uh, we were still separated and she said that, uh, take a moment at a time. Then something happened to me that uh, I shouldn't be worried about. The, okay, you know, and then I tried to explain it to my heart that maybe it won't work out. So why, you know, force something out of love? But, you know, it's forced for the other person, a prison. For, and maybe I'm a different person, so it's not going to work out. We are different people, different. So all this and a lot of neurosis was taking place, psychological difficulties to cope with life and myself, uh, to stand anything. And then when I met uh, Mrs. Manira Gulzar at all, I mean, uh, something happened. But before that, there was this thing that uh, I'm not, I wasn't scared of letting go. There was this, uh, something came in me, which I've explained uh, many a times on my uh, Facebook page on Mrs. Manira Gulzar, <clears throat> my ex-principal, what the whole detail about it. Right now I cannot say much. I'm just going to uh, shortcut, uh, you know, uh, say it in a manner uh, briefly. So this emptiness and the wish for being nothing. And uh, so I still, uh, like sometimes I feel, you know, that uh, if you force me to love God, like, it's like I, I can't take it anymore. Uh, so why did, because all these questions pop up, uh, pop up, you know, like, uh, why did God create us? I still can't get it uh, anymore. So, like, isn't there some uh, master who is compassionate, merciful? And maybe I, if, uh, like, love would come and be a voice for me, because I, do, I haven't found that person as yet. If I'm Radharani, Kalki Avtar, or Buddha, Buddha, or someone come, you know, a very compassionate person, healer, unconditionally healing people who really need it. Uh, like, uh, they don't have to keep repeating, repeating, but that in for one look, if they could. You see, because uh, I've become really weak and now I can't stand anything. Again, again, I've lost that grace of God. Uh, they made me lose it. Huh, on the internet. I don't because it happened. I don't usually, in my, I don't like to blame people, but uh, I feel that someone, excuse me, so I feel someone did, uh, uh, did try to uh, separate Mrs. Munira Gulzar and I. If I had done it, like I was preparing myself, you know, gracefully when 
if something in the family or she you know gracefully leave her i was meditating on that right didn't quite turn out that way but then said someone else's in- interference just like yusuf zaidi came and all this so um uh, i felt that i should not have involved other people in this never involve a third person but i thought because he said he's fatima zahra's son is sayyid right and all this and he had some special i was having dreams and all this he said he will pray and he a special amals he can do or something anyway then he told me that if if i was in your place i would have uh, hanged myself on the you know like a fan or something i would have hanged myself like uh, see what's happened to me is that he was right first he was like in 21 days something really good is going to happen he made he did all these things uh, to make me believe in him in the beginning and then in the end he said if i were you i would have hanged myself uh, before leaving for london he came to my place in karachi and told me this so what um i don't quite agree to the lectures uh, sorry uh, bhakti marga parmahamsa vishwananda uh, i feel like something is missing uh, as a when there is love true love probably they don't say it because uh, it's for you to find out love should not impose its thing on you like if your heart but then there are people who laugh at you know us who love and give our lives but love true love pure love it uh, why wouldn't it discipline you you would be every day out if you had to uh for your loved one to see you you know out in the rain there's a movie uh, we heard uh, we saw i mean sorry in london a friend of mine two friends of mine and i and uh i i can't forget uh can't uh, i mean i can't remember the name of the movie but it's like 99 days that man waited for the woman he loved outside rain all seasons you know throughout the season so in all seasons what discipline you know you could give, give your life to the one you love it just comes miraculously you don't have to do any asana yogas or anything uh, <clears throat> and uh, loving god like uh, god doesn't need our worship as muslims we knew this as shia muslim like wouldn't you want us to love one another rather than himself maybe at one point it said listen i'm here i created isn't that uh, like uh, shouldn't we love our level of people like human beings and then god leave the rest to god i mean he's come on he's such a he's but to uh, love god you know, force like do methods in kriya yoga to get oh, sorry hindus i have to uh, i said i don't uh, believe in this kind of a method i'm like jiduk more uh, inclined not uh, like he was uh, but uh, more inclined to his way the way he was showing in munji baba like if you you know, uh, maybe the ego will come up uh, because god to love god god should love us we and uh, god would want us to love one another and give our lives for one another now see imam hussain did the sacrifice and everything no one can be like him we used to say as shias right so now uh, i still can't find words to properly 
put this thing, I mean, convey and share it, and it doesn't, maybe it's not flowing properly. So I'm confused again uh, about, but love, love and discipline go hand in hand, and there's no attachment. It's the fear of attachment we have. There's no attachment. There's no. If you have fear of attachment, then I'm sorry. I uh, then that is not a love. Complete love is where there's no fear of attachment. Uh, you know all this coming fear and this and that. No, no. Once you love, you just love completely. Do dedicate, devote yourself like she's your God. Your principles, your beloved is your God. Um, what is the crime in that kind of a thing? Right? Uh, so, God will understand. It's the people who don't understand. And I'm afraid some gurus also don't understand this. They want us to love God, God, God. Now, where is the complete uh, proof that uh, God does love? Love is God. God is love. Or, uh, did I say that right? Both sides. Uh, love is God, and God is love. Sometimes you know the we they say they say sometimes we shouldn't say love is God, but we should we can say God. And we, God is truth, truth is God, the other way around. And so there's something wrong with that. I don't find anything wrong. Maybe I, I'm kind of dumb not getting it. So if, and uh, however, I, in childhood, when they put their God is love on the wall, I say, God is, isn't God more than love? And then what is, love doesn't need. Love will beckon to you. If you just open your eyes to love, it will beckon to you. Uh, true love, true love, right? Not, I mean, there is nothing but love. Uh, and the lust and all this, uh, this kind of, it's not love that I love ice cream. Ice cream, I want. I want to have ice cream. I, I really love ice cream. That's not to love, right? That's some desire. Um, yeah, it, it love. I love ice cream. No, you see, I cannot say I love ice cream because then I would want to. Yeah, then you could even kill if you don't get. No, but love never makes you kill others if you don't get ice cream. Love gives you patience like no one's business no one's business so you don't kill because you didn't get but you might we might kill if we didn't get uh, a small a uh, cigarette or you know i could uh, uh, kill some people here like that you know i would kill them if they don't give me money uh, pay me money money is very important but um, uh, money is very important, uh, so I need my tea and all this. Money is very, very important. You know, like that, so I could kill, I could uh, catch your throats, Abu Dhabi's, or, you know, things like that. Uh, so, yeah, you pay me. Like uh, Loi Macedo said, don't feel sympathy and pity for me, just send money. Yeah, that's very, very genuine, very genuine, very truthful. So this is what we are. I mean, we with life has made us like this. Uh, we are, we were, we were love, uh, and the love doesn't see money and all this. So I haven't even reached that true love where, you know, you, you without saying you. Those people are gone. They've given their lives for love, and they don't even have to speak now. But I, I guess I have to speak because I've failed. Love, uh, I don't know what. 
So they do, don't have to speak. We are contributing this much and we did this much and we got nothing in return. And, uh, you know, or we got this terrible thing. We don't even have recognition. You don't recognize and you don't acknowledge uh, all the, oh God. So I don't know what's happened. But the true ones are very humble, truly humble. Love even, love, love has no pride in it and all this, uh, no pride. So love is very, very beyond anything. Uh, God comes down for love. Uh, like if I tell a Muslim this, they would put me in for blasphemy. See, but in Urdu, there's a saying that Khuda ko dunne se Khuda mil jata hai if you search for God. So, you know, if, uh, let's say, if you think, okay, idol worshippers and all that, there are many, many methods that you can use. You will reach your destination. Whatever you desire, if you desire to be God-realized, uh, Christians will get their Christ if they truly live up to the principle Hindus will get their God realized and uh, all Muslims will get uh, I don't know why we have failed but really these true ulama's religious scholars uh, they felt uh, this religion was the true and truth and truthful religion and uh, they loved Imam Hussain our religious scholars and the Sunnis uh, love Allah and Rasulullah and sometimes only Allah and uh, so love what's the common denomination what's common to all of us we are human beings either choose humanity or choose love and what's what's that thing that takes away the ego. You see, we're trying to be human beings as ex-Muslims. We can't even cooperate one with another. We're putting the other person down and uh, putting ourselves on like uh, we know. We know. And she doesn't know. So I'm notorious in the ex-Muslim YouTube circle. Uh, we, we are not cooperating. We are not uh, uh, just pathetic. Uh, we can't even understand someone who's not well. We'll tell them, go and go and see a shrink and take medication or something like this, you know? So, or who do you think you are? So we, it's miserable what we are doing to each other, even ex-Muslims. Uh, so, so something is missing. And uh, don't don't let these gurus and all this drag you into or sanatani dharmis. But you, you know, because of your weakness, so I have to protect the ex-Muslims, uh, defend them, like for be, being falsely accused by the sanatanis, like uh, Monika Shiron and all, and attacked. At least I didn't I didn't know who these people were. I wasn't sure, but I know Monika Shiron. Anyways, she said, Shama mangt you, may I apologize and all this in the end? Any, anyhow, but I have not gone to her live stream after that. And uh, I was at Al Musa's when she, she had come later on. I didn't know she was there. Uh, so I'm not really, you know, I don't, uh, I want to be fair and square. Uh, so yes, there was a Sanatini who I felt attacked me and all this. I still feel, uh, I recently saw this movie, what was it, Zero. Like, you know, the jealousy, there was jealousy in this movie. But the love, father, between father and son, they could give their lives for each other. So this Indian movie, award-winning movie, silent movie, but dubbed in Urdu. Oh, Hindi, sorry, Hindi. I just saw last night. So love, uh, 
why should you see this thing comes up that I don't want to love God I had enough of him he created everything he's the most powerful then he wants us to do all this yogas and uh, read his books and practice and all this no 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 you see I I really have gotten out of my God knows I I, I really don't uh, if someone tells me to love God I feel so angry now like I feel so terrified irritated and agitated and aggravated don't tell me to love God he he doesn't need a why should God need us to love him love him love him so many people suffered and all this what's I think to love a human being love your level that would be true love because that human you see we don't love uh, God no we love God because he's the all-powerful we're scared of him we're weak and scared and don't tell me it is my ego and all this no no when you love the other person when you sacrifice you have you read Le Miserable Le Miserable by Victor Hugo that's uh, when uh, maybe even God will come down for you God will come down for you I don't see any other worship or this kind of thing it just comes in the way I get aggravated so that all-powerful yeah yeah we know even Imam Ali said that I worship him because he deserves to be worshipped and I worshipped Mrs. Munira Gulza I loved her and then God would come down angels would come down any truth that is there would uh, from heaven's high places would salute the beloved but we don't say these things you see it's for you to know uh, so I don't agree to I'm different than all this even Bhakti Marga who has said Sri Rade and Kirtan and has praised Radharani and love like in his Kirtan and all this um, even he has fallen short of knowing true love what true love is and that excuse me that you love someone because uh, because love leads you perhaps your heart I don't know how I am trying to work figure that out uh, that love that the greatest gift if God ever wants to give you something and it's the greatest gift it should be love in your heart for another person because you see there no ego will come no there's no up and there may be like a principle but human being so I cannot put it in right words right now but those from the heart listening to me those blessed right uh, I don't know how we get blessed but this is the greatest gift uh, God can give us is to love one another put hearts I'm uh, sorry put love in our hearts for one another especially if one person even you can love completely without fear of attachment and and how much am I going to do today and without her would I die I could die uh, so Sadhguru was like at the time saying well if you love a human being then dedicate and love give your life there's no crime in giving your life you love one minute of true love that you've ever loved someone is a thousand years like you know of a, a life that you go search oh, no I can't put you no one down like this no your search for God your ibadat, your prayers, your longing for God. Uh, I'm, I'm not putting 
them down? I hope not. I hope I'm not contradicting myself. A human being doing that, okay, that's great. But my my path is different. My path is, my path was of love, but I'm, now I don't even. Sometimes I say, oh God, love. I tomorrow I might say no. I don't know. But in childhood, what I believed in, uh, when I loved someone, not that I just thin air or something, but you know, like koi ya, koi. One doesn't live for another. One lives for oneself. No, no. Sorry, just having water. Uh, there are people who have lost themselves. So losing myself and you, I find myself and the meaning of my life. One minute if is like thousands of years left. Uh, one minute of love is like you know, nothing compared to a thousand years that you've just lived without love. Uh, and this love is uh, something, when I find words, uh, I've been trying to struggle my, most of my life with Miss Dissol, so, and, you know, how to, she, she can say, but I cannot put that you know, put my finger on that thing and explain to her uh, that's what I mean. So I had a difficult time with words, uh, express, expressing. But there's this inside and like I know. And uh, you would say, well, like, yeah. and so because I've, because, so now, I don't know. And then, a priest told me, don't say, like he was my counselor. He said, don't, uh, for some time, he said, don't say you don't know. So maybe I don't know. Uh, does this song go? I think Linda Ronstead again. I don't know much, but I know I love you. And Aaron Neville, again, like, so. Really, uh, and me, Mrs. Munira Gulzar was Mira by I mean, as if she's alive. So, you know, once I hugged her, I was praying to Bibi Mariam God and Bibi Mariam, please hug, please hug me through her. We, she was uh, on a leave. Uh, she wasn't going, and I had my vacation. Like I, had, I think graduated. So we went to her, my friend called me, it's my friend's friend. She wanted to invite Mrs. Manira Gozar, her principal, ex-principal too. But uh, this one was senior to me, this friend's friend. So we went there and uh, Mrs. Manira Gozar hugged me. That's how I know that uh, Meera Bai must have disappeared or something must have happened to her when she hugged. I'm told I've read her life story on online that uh, she disappeared, hugging the murti of uh, Krishna, Sri Krishna. So when I hugged her, first time in my life, I mean, I couldn't feel myself. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so now I know, this much I know, that uh, I, disap I disappeared, like I was floating, like I didn't feel myself. I only felt uh, Mrs. Manira Gulsar. Uh, I cannot explain to you. I felt that I wasn't there. But then who was hugging whom? Like, uh, uh, like we had become... I didn't put in that uh, diary. I'll try to remember what I put in that diary of mine personal that uh, I felt like I was floating, I wasn't there. Mirabai. And then now I gather that Mrs. Manira Gulzar was Mirabai. 
in one of her past lives, right? So, Hindus would want to, if they try to believe me, and if Mrs. Munira Gulzar was alive, they would want to hug her, to, you know, like, uh, she disappeared, and, yeah, yeah, and she used to wear saris, right, and in college, St. Joseph's College. Not in Hamdard, later on she joined, but St. Joseph's College, where I was there also, a student. So, I disappeared. I didn't feel myself. If I didn't feel myself, then was she hugged me and I didn't feel myself. I was like floating. So they say that Meera Bai, when she hugged or, you know, she disappeared. She was dancing in the temple the Shri Krishna's, with the Shri Krishna's idol. And I think uh, her sari was left behind, but that she had disappeared. So, uh, yeah, this much I can say that Although, if I had disappeared, or she had disappeared, <laughs> where's Zara, where's Zara gone? And then uh, Khadija Mirza, my friend, she was then Khadija Shah, I think. Uh, uh, sorry. It was her wedding invitation card we went to give her. She said I should go with her. So, I didn't disappear. <laughs> where's Zara? But I'm not Meera by Mrs. Munira Gulzar. Mrs. Munira Gulzar is Meera by. So she hugged me. She could have disappeared. Where's, my, where's M- Munira? Where's mommy? Where's Mrs. Munira Gulzar? But actually, why would Radha Rani disappear? Feel, feel like she's disappeared. She's no more there. Uh, I didn't feel myself for one, a few, when she hugged me and then I told her like in her ear that, Mommy, I don't want to leave you, like just keep me embraced like this, like, I just felt I was gone, floating, I was so light and that uh, it's never happened. Since I used to hug very affectionate with my teacher when she would come to my place, Miss Tissa. After that, even my friends who used to hug me uh, from her part of the, her neighbors used to tell me that you are very stiff when we hug you. What's wrong with you? You are stressed. Like, what's the matter? Why are you so stressed? Relax. Your body is stressed and all this. And so maybe, I don't know why I never allowed or I didn't know unconsciously it was all so when I hugged Mrs. Munira Gulzar it was like uh, I was no more there I disappeared for one second I felt I'm not there and that now I'm floating and all this man I I cannot express it uh, and now it's been a long long time it was a 19 92 or 1993 this happened uh, she was not seeing us she was at home because she hadn't received her extension second or first I can't. maybe it's the second one yeah and I was I had graduated and, and then um, yeah so 1992 or 1993 so. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I will uh, see what more I can share with you people. But uh, that thing is gone from my heart to worship God and love Him and methods. Maybe Jiddu Krishna's Mur- uh, Jiddu Krishna Murti's thing really got a hold on me. It just disappeared. Like, uh, it just, uh, I can't worship God. Uh, I've seen too much sufferance 
and God delaying to help. You know, this, uh, so I blame God. This may be blasphemy, but uh, yes, that's, uh, I don't know, maybe, let's see, do I blame God or that He didn't help human beings and we want a more compassionate. Up Kalki, Avtar comes and embraces us all and just, uh, you know, puts us in that place. Why do we have to worship God? Does He need our worship? Maybe for the egoistic people or something. I don't know. So thank you very much. I will continue later.